Selena Barthel. And I'm Don Amato. More college-bound Vermonters than ever are struggling to make ends meet due to COVID. And paying for school can feel like it's beyond budget. Now, there is a Vermont organization helping some families close the gap. Channel Tree's Christina Gasper shows you how. You really have to be an advocate for your child and pump them up to the school and say, look, you're going to be lucky to get this kid, which is the truth with Ben, but you really do it to sell your kid. And today, Anne Ewan's Larrabee is speaking on her son and Enosburg Falls High School senior Ben's behalf. He's been so busy working to save up for college, he couldn't find the time for this interview. And just as money is on the mind now, it was a concern for all the Larrabees when Ben said he had his heart set on attending Clarkson University this fall. Clarkson was the most expensive of the schools we looked at, but they really worked with us the most. In fact, the Larrabees were forced to appeal their financial aid package with Clarkson three times. Finally, the cost fell in their budget. They came up with more money, and when they did come up with more money, that made the decision much easier. The Larrabees are just one Vermont family of about 120 so far this year who've requested a better deal to pay for their student's degree, according to the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation. Last year, VSAC says more than 1,200 families asked to appeal their financial aid offer. That's compared to between 160 and 200 requests the year before. We absolutely saw need go through the roof. Marilyn Cargill is the Vice President of Financial Aid Services, Marketing, and Research at VSAC. She says the reason so many families are appealing their financial aid offers is because applications require income information from two years prior. Well, 2019 is way pre-pandemic. And since then, families have lost jobs or changed in size, all key considerations in the financial aid process. Cargill says nationally, first-generation college students are feeling most of the pressure as their parents statistically were most impacted by the pandemic, working in trade or service jobs. Appealing financial aid is, is fairly easy. I mean, it's reaching out to your school and to VSAC, and if you're applying to more than one school, you're reaching out to all of them, and letting them know what's going on. Cargo says so far, colleges across the country have proved generous in coming to a compromise. Students who successfully appealed Vermont state grants last year received, on average, an additional $2,000 in state grant aid. In Burlington, Christina Gesford, Channel 3 News. Tonight